This car is like literally dream spec. I love it. Decided to mate with my... In the middle of the road here. So, ladies and gentlemen, it's been quite a while since I've done a video. Today's video, we're going to be drinking a bottle of water. Sun is right there, which is quite nice. Other than that, this is my brand new car and let's cut to the cinematic shots right now. Welcome to Bond's channel. As you can see here, it's just what I love. Okay, well, uh, seems like my phone has decided to mate with my... There we go. Okay, my hair's a mess, so excuse excuse me for that. Uh, I've looked at minis for, as I said, two years, for quite a while now. So it's not like an impulse buy. It's not something that, you know, I just walked into a dealership or something and thought, you know what, I'll have that one. <laughs> it's not like just uh, like that. So it's something that I actually wanted for a while and I didn't think uh, I would get it so soon. Uh, as I said, 206 isn't for sale. Uh, before anybody asks me, was it yesterday? Wow, things do fly actually quite fast. So I picked up the car yesterday, drove it for a few hours back on the motorway. I'll try get some shots included right here of the actual car and me driving it back, uh, rolling shots. I wanted to make sure that I got the Cooper, uh, so it has the 122 brake horsepower, obviously more than my 206 had. The one thing I do miss from my 206 is the fact that how angry my 206 looked and how vicious it looked and how it looked like it literally was fast because of its front end. And that's something I'll miss. And obviously that specification of that 206 that I had, well, I still have, uh, is really rare i never have ever come across one in that specification with the painted colors and bumpers main fact of why i didn't customize or you saw me literally keep it bone stock and my friends literally saw my car bone stock ever since is literally i didn't see myself putting money into that car A huge majority of minis or mini ones mini coopers any mini you see anywhere really to be honest i don't know about the new ones but just many many minis their arches or like you know the body tr side trim arches or whatever you call it above the wheels where it goes and always do end up being plastic from the manufacturer and they usually are always and as you can see there is a, a sticker there saying mini you don't know what car you're passing well they won't be passing me i'll be passing them hey hey the arches are metallic black with the color it is black on black on black so it's like triple black because the interior i'd say it so it's like black on black on black to be honest i think this car is like literally dream spec. Yesterday was the 28th of April, 2018. So it literally listing was up tw 21st. I think I noticed it on the 24th. We're gonna hop outside. I just wanna show you guys this. And about the alloys, these are, once again, not anything you see. Every single mini you see on the market as it's on, there's a little feather there. Every single mini you see on the market, I don't know why I'm crouching here but it is what it is. Nice sun over there. Every single Mini has its own little customization options, so you will never find a Mini that is the same. So when I dug down deep on the internet to try and find a specification car like this, not on the market, not for sale or anything, literally just Google search. I searched up the, the actual specification of my car. Only one crappier wheels than this one. These are the Mini um mini la 17 inch alloys now once again if you guys know the Peugeot 206 did not have alloy wheels i was thinking that was the first modification i was actually thinking of doing it just wasn't good the tires weren't as wide as i'd probably like it was 175 these bad boys are 205 it has a bit of rear camber you don't even know how much research i do into things especially with a car i wanted to make sure is the best if you buy a mini you realize it is the best if you buy the right mini as well you will realize it is probably the best bang for your book you can get quite a well done spec car the biggest reason if we're going to be talking about i don't know why i'm still crouching why am i still crouching and talking about this but basically these are usually plastic color-coded matching with the actual car is that can you see the alloy wheel so those are mini la as they call it 17 inch black gloss alloy wheels and it really sets the car apart once again i want to hop in the car because i don't think you can hear me well don't know if i showed the rear camber the rear camber of the car is actually insane 
if you have a look at that. So after I did a lot of research into minis, I think it was probably a few months prior to today, you know, a couple of months back, that I realized some of the minis actually have a sport button. Now, ladies and gentlemen, if you did realize, and I hopefully did include it, this car does have a sport button. Obviously, this doesn't increase the brake horsepower like by an absurd amount. The sport button, what it does is it tightens the springs and the suspension. It gives a bit more better handling and the throttle response, it increases it a bit. And I have really noticed it. People always call minis, especially the Cooper and, you know, Cooper S or whatever, is that this is literally a go car and that it is. It's so nimble. It is nippy. A nippy as people you know say as like you know it's small and it's kind of fast a bit so uh i don't know if i should actually go ahead and drive the car while i probably should i think that's what i did with the uh 206 did just realize uh these doors go like slightly uh, up not like lambo lamborghini up at night time this is when this car and what's so ironic is the day before on the 20 so on the 27th i was looking at neons to put on this car i know it's ricey things and neons and this and that as you guys knew i didn't modify the 206 at all probably the biggest modification i did to the 206 was do you want to know what an air freshener yes yes you gotta make sure you take that off if you are taking your car to an mot kind of classed as like an obstruction to your windscreen but you know you can easily take that off anyway so it has these fighter jet kind of style well switches okay okay well i I didn't, I didn't mean like turn the car completely on but car's on anyway it up, fan speed up changes the temperature uh cd there then this is all for the radio so and this is the huge speedo on the middle but you probably want you me looking at that anyway this one oh boy this one when you change it uh, i think front ways it changes the color of this these two circles have a light beam as you can see my finger there inside of it there's two lights coming down from there there's one there and there's one here. Then I have a light there, a light there where you open the doors and inside of here and then inside of there are all lights. They're all lights and you can change them to any color you want. Yes. Currently I have it on like dark blue. Um, it kind of does work the best at night. Basically this light comes down to here and you can see this whole part here and like a bit of the interior and it just sets the car apart at night time i didn't expect it to like work this well in like the, the lights are really bright you can set how bright you want the light three different like shades of every single color so like different shades of yellow purple green anything blue like these buttons here uh, so this is for the speech i can talk to it but i don't want to touch that now because i'm still like doing my research into like you know the booklets and stuff and the actual manuals and guides and everything a lot of studying uh to do with my own car uh which i will probably do when i get home anyway uh, i don't know what else there is to do except take this car for a drive minis are just overall highly desirable cars they always will be and they hold their value incredibly well uh so that's good if i do ever sell this car um, which I don't think I ever will be, probably unless I move abroad. That will literally be the only reason I sell this car. If I move abroad, I will be selling this car, unfortunately. But I literally keep this car for years and I don't even like mine because I don't need anything for like... If you want to say this, I bought my dream car uh, because I've wanted it for ages. As I referenced, it's been two years, approximately that, uh, hence... Well, since then, I kind of did a lot of research into these cars. You want me to do a separate, another separate video? of me like looking at the spec sheet of the full car and reading it out then i can do it is quite well it is long enough i guess you could say for me to do a video on uh it literally is uh my dream spec and i think it will be probably for many people uh the fact that it's just black on black on kind of black interior as well i love it i love it i know that from an investment standpoint but every car depreciates this one it won't as much in comparison to like if i got any other car on the market I can name me a car that depreciate that doesn't depreciate as much as this car now don't name me like a ferrari or porsche okay that doesn't that doesn't count okay do not comment that in the comments below this is my dream car i am 19 so i guess you could say i bought my dream car at 19 you know something you know stupid but like i wanted to make sure that i got something that was sensible was a bit more modern really this is everything in one package which is why i looked into it so much it doesn't even feel real it's weird it is weird because knowing that i did so much research into this car and i literally don't see myself sitting in any other car now apart from this like when i look at other cars on instagram or wherever it is no 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 i got this car now it's what i wanted for ages nah <laughs> whether that's like you know a supercar or anything like I, I literally even if i did have the money where's a good place 
for a camera. So basically, even if I did have money to buy a supercar, I probably would end up saving my money. And quite a few moments where I was like, maybe I shouldn't buy a new car. Maybe I should. Maybe it is time for me to kind of upgrade. Say goodbye to the Peugeot 206, even though I'm not saying goodbye to it. Well, yet anyway, because it still is with me. So yeah, I think I'm going to actually cut to me driving the car so basically before i do take this for a bit of a drive at the for the end of this video make sure you comment below if you want me to take a full uh video and talk about uh the full spec sheet and go through every single detail on this car and probably just find out some things that i don't even know myself until this day so if you want me to look at the spec sheet and talk about the experience of me buying this car and everything because the experience was cool uh and actually driving back it was a dream it's not something i've done before with my past car it's not something that i had to drive the car by myself it literally was just an amazing experience i'm gonna stick our shades on you do want to see and also there's a guy going past make sure you do follow me on all my social media up there because if I'm not active on YouTube, I'm most likely going to be active on Instagram. I've been using that a lot. Uh, Instagram and Twitter, Snapchat. <laughs> my boot is open. <laughs> okay. Can you see me? I'm literally in the middle of the road here. I did feel like I didn't close the boot correctly it feel like i definitely did not close that boot correctly when i was doing the cinematography this car has the start stop function so when you come to a red light pause and then you can immediately literally turn your car on in an instant uh so you can save fuel from that i don't want to do any like stupid things uh, as in take this race it around these b roads as i probably just could do and i kind of did like you know give a bit of speed i could do now i don't think there is much to really talk about the car i didn't wash the windows hello there immediately you get the sense in the steering the steering immediately you can tell it tightens up so we're going the speed limit of course give it a bit of throttle there and it does pick up i'm in sixth gear right now i don't like see myself going faster than this and it still wants to go ahead i'm to be sensible and i don't want to speed i want to make sure i don't hit any uh sheep and check out all my social media links including my business and this and that down below make sure you subscribe I'll be trying to put out more videos, but I do want to make sure that I do invest in a better camera first uh, before I spam out videos and it kind of uh, will be better uh, for me to do. And comment down below what you think of the camera.